Hey everyone, this is Ruvin, and today I come up with another interesting SharePoint and Power Automate video. Sometimes we have a requirement where we need to send some email notification only when specific column value is changed. I'm repeating again when a specific column value is changed. Let's say for an example, this is my SharePoint list and here you can see the different column like title, matter, day of officer status, first approver status, second approver status. And I want to send some email notification when these three column values are changing. Changing means from reject to approve and approve to reject, right? Let's say for an example, if I'm a updating only one of the column value like first approver value at that time this value day officer value and second approver value is not changing it is still in the same stage then it should not send email notification again and again to them this is a very common scenario in real life projects where you have and where you want to send the notification only when the column value is changed so how can you achieve this kind of requirement with the help of power automate i am going to talk about a to z in detail about this thing but before that if you haven't followed me on my instagram and twitter so far please do follow me so without further delay let's get started so here i am on my machine and here i have this sharepoint list now in power automate by default only one trigger is available which is when an item is created or modified but we are not getting the value that which column value is being changed so let's see the trick over here so i am going here and creating new automated cloud flow i am going to use an action when an item is created or modified and click on create let me just configure my site address and list name add a new step and search for sharepoint when you select sharepoint you will get a lots of action over here when you scroll down a little bit you will get a property get changes for an item or file let's select that and over here you need to provide site address and list name again over here you need to provide an id for which item you want to get the changes so this is the id when an item was created let's provide it over here there is an option since when you need all the changes so over here let's scroll down a little bit and you will be getting an option trigger window start token and trigger window end token so let's just provide it and now let's add a new step over here now over here you will be this action will so this action will provide you all the changes for an item so let's say for an example from your sharepoint list only if you updated this column it will provide you the track that only this column value is changed okay now let me do one thing for debugging purpose i am adding one compose action and over here let's just add one of the column just for the debugging purpose so i am just adding a value has column changed it is providing a collection of showing which columns have changed so i am just adding that and i am just saving the flow now let me just test this flow i am going here and for form 2 i am just making from reject to approve and let's say over here i am changing finance to legal so i am changing two column values over here let's see what will happen the flow ran successfully let's check the flow ran i am expanding the compose action and here you are getting the whole output now you are getting the value in form of true and false so over here we change two things matter and day officer status rest of the column we didn't change so we are getting the status as false right so this is the output we are getting from this action now based on our business requirement we can apply the different condition now in our case we want to send the notification only when dev officer first approver or second approver status is being changed so now we will apply the condition over there so for that we will just add multiple if condition in our flow 
I'm going to show one of the condition over here. So let me just go to my flow. And now I'm adding a new step where I'm adding if condition. For that, I will just use condition. Over here, I need to provide a condition. If this is true, which means that developer officer status is true. I'm copying this property from here, going here and just use an expression. Just add one space, go to the dynamic content and we need to first pick a value which is has column value changed, has column changed. So in expression, you will be getting like this output get changes has column change. Then you need to press question mark and then you need to press a square bracket quote and now paste the property. Dev officer status change. Now let's copy and paste the same thing because we just need to only change the value over there. So if this is equal to true, so just go to the expression and search for true. Yep. Then I want to send an email notification. Then just use send email. Just provide the email address. provide a subject body. I'm just adding taste, but based on your condition, you can add anything similar way. This is when a development officer status is changed. Then only you need to do this. Now let's say if you want to add the similar thing for first approver, then add a parallel branch, add one more condition and provide the same thing. Go to the expression. I already copied the thing when a dev officer status is changed. So instead of that, let's change the column value, which is first approver status change. I'm copying this, going back here and pasting again. Okay. So when first approver status equals to true, then only you need to send an email notification. Okay. So that's perfect. And same way you can add your third condition as well. I'm just going here and add one more parallel branch, adding a condition over here. Just choose a value. And now let's just go to the expression, paste my expression and changing the column value. Sorry, I didn't copy it properly. So I'm copying again from here. Control A, Control C. Going here. expression control V and second approver status. So let's copy the column value. Perfect. Let's save the flow. And here we are, we are done, right? Now let's taste our flow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to only change the development officer status value. All right. So let's see what we are getting. So going to the library, I'm editing my first item and I'm just changing the development officer status from approve to reject. And let's see what we are getting here. The flow ran successfully. Now let's check the flow run. First, let's check in the compose what we are getting. Only the dev officer status is being changed. So it's true. Let's go down and over here. Let's see what we are getting. It is going inside this condition and sending the notification. Yep. So that's it. So hope this video helps you and values your time and solve your business problem. If so, make sure you hit thumbs up and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me. If you are looking for any consultation, this is the website link. Also, if you are looking to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram account, the links are available always on the channel cover homepage. 
Also, don't forget to follow me on my another YouTube channel, Digital Dhruvin, where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Twitter as well. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.